Hello there, I just want to make a quick video. And what are we looking at, you might ask? Well, this is what's commonly referred to, I think, as the little piggy cam. Ever wonder why your fridge magnets don't just fly off? Well, according to some guy on the internet, the Earth's core, well, it's too hot to be magnetic. There's no way this guy is serious, is there? Shut up and sit down, you big bald f***. Subscribe. But before we find out, I've got some bills to pay. So today's video is sponsored by Incogni. Right now, your information is sitting on search sites, data broker databases, and all sorts of other places you've probably never heard of, and it's being collected and sold without your permission. Incogni, the sponsor of today's video, well, they'll remove every bit of it for you. Incogni tracks down where your details are exposed and gets them taken off those sites so you're not an easy target for scams, spam or anything potentially worse. Their custom removals feature is brilliant. If your information shows up on a website outside of their automatic list, you can just send Incogni the link and a privacy expert handles the whole thing for you. No forms, nothing. They deal with it from start to finish and all you need to do is create an account, authorize them just once and they get to work removing your data from hundreds of brokers and any extra sites you flag. It's the simplest way to actually disappear from the web properly. And Incogni offer a 30 day money back guarantee you can cancel any time. And on top of that, you'll get 60% off annual plans if you use my code Creaky at checkout. So head to the link in the description and give yourself the gift of protecting your privacy this holiday season. It's time to take back control of your personal data. Right, back to the video. But the first thing people will say is, well, hold on, that doesn't make any sense. NASA, haven't you seen the pictures? NASA, NASA, but NASA. Well, NASA gets $50 million a day. No, they don't. They get $69.6 .6 million per day or 0.3% of the US's total spend for 2025. So it's not even 1%, you clown. You don't think they might have an incentive to lie? And every single astronaut that's ever gone up there has been a Freemason. Not really, no, unless, of course, you were going to be the first flat earther in history to explain to us why NASA would lie. If NASA is faking space just to keep the cash flowing, they're doing a terrible job. They've got thousands of different people from different countries who mostly hate each other, all to agree on the same lie for 70 years. And no, not all astronauts were Freemasons either. For example, Neil Armstrong wasn't. But more than two-thirds of all astronauts astronauts have been involved in the Boy Scouts of America, so they must be in on the lie as well. <laughs> to be brutally honest, to control this secret wouldn't be that hard. It, wouldn't, it would only take a few thousand guys, and then everything else trickles down, all the information trickles down, so that it just becomes a word of mouth thing. Every time you go into a classroom and you see a globe, people just assume it's true. Oh, only a few thousand people? I can't even get four people to agree on pizza toppings. I'm not getting any pineapple. You are getting pineapple. We're taking it off our slices. Don't waste any food, Jay. I think we made our point. Totally. We'll get our own pizza. Eat it in the car. But thousands of people are out here running a global cover-up without a single person ever getting drunk and posting a selfie with the ice wall on Instagram. It's funny how this word of mouth thing works, though. It's almost like the maths, the physics, and the fact that you can watch a ship disappear from the bottom up over the horizon all tell the same story. But yeah, it's probably just the globe in the corner of our classrooms casting a magic spell on our brains. Do you listen to the things you say before you say... <laughs> because it's that easy for them to fake this stuff. I mean, easier than writing your name. But going back to this, one simple thing that it proves is that as it pans nearly 180 degrees, if Earth was really a ball, it would pan out into empty space, people. Do you understand? It doesn't, though. The horizon stays flat and level at eye level. Well, I hate to break it to you, but the Earth is big, like really big, and the camera should pan into empty space if the Earth were a ball. Seriously. It's a sphere, not a floating dinner plate. No matter which way you turn on a ball, the surface stays under you. That's literally how balls work. It never does that. In fact, in any astronaut supposed spacewalks, fake walks, 
When does the camera ever pan 180? Never, because they're too busy focusing on one angle. That's exactly what I mean. Think before you speak. Listen to what you just said. Of course they're going to stay focused on the astronauts. That's the interesting part of a spacewalk, you clown! Another thing, they claim that their magical gravity is what's causing Earth to spin. Well, that's a brand of wrong even I haven't heard before. Since when did gravity cause the Earth to spin? Well, it does it rotate. I hate using the word spin. Or are we just making shit up now? Earth spins because of leftover energy from when it was born. Kind of like a spinning top that hasn't stopped yet. But yet Earth's core, even though we've never been there, is of such high temperature metals, what they call molten metals, that it creates a problem for modern science. Geologists, say it with me. Molten metals lose magnetic properties. I repeat, Molten metals lose magnetic properties. Oh, he's so proud of this one, isn't he? Let's play along. Say it with me. Molten metals lose magnetic properties. Okay, pal, we've said it. Now I'll explain to you why it doesn't mean what you think it does. Science doesn't say the core is a permanent magnet. It says the core is like a dynamo. A permanent magnet produces a magnetic field due to quantum mechanical alignment of electron spins and does not require motion. Now, in special conditions like the Earth's core, moving conductive fluids can generate electrical currents and sustain magnetic fields, which is how planetary dynamos work. Without NASA or any of their cartoons or fake X, SpaceX or any of the other nonsense, without any of that garbage, prove Earth is a spinning ball. You don't need NASA to demonstrate that the Earth is a rotating sphere. You just need a little bit of good old-fashioned common sense. Some guy proved it thousands of years ago with two bloody sticks. And just because every classroom teaches that it is, doesn't make it true. Yeah, because educational authorities across the world are well known for feeding their students a load of old crap. It just means that there's this deception around us. And people always say, well, that's impossible. There's no way. Well, it's very possible. It's happening. The question of why is irrelevant. No, it isn't. It's highly relevant. Because if people were doing what you lot claim they're doing, there would have to be a reason why they were doing that. Most people won't go there because it's too scary. It's simply a world-shifting paradigm break. And for them to go into this topic means that everything they believed in was a lie. And people, people can't do that. It's too scary. People need that semblance of control over their life. They think that by finding out this new truth, everything changes. Everything's changing. It's like, no, nothing has changed. Yeah, but that's not true either, is it? Because once you change into a conspiracy theorist... Everyone else thinks you're a moron. But, but, NASA said, but, but, my teacher said, but, but, maybe they were lied to. So what's your advice then as a flat earther to ignore everything you've ever been taught, to claim that all scientists from every discipline are liars who are in on the plan, not to mention astronauts, engineers, and so on and so forth. <laughs> you know what isn't easy? The truth. And, and even not getting into Christianity and Flat Earth proves that there's a creator. Mm, no, nothing proves there's a creator because there isn't, wasn't, whatever. You know, look at this footage, people. It ain't moving. And NASA says it is, but you gotta ask yourself, why would they lie? Is it just about $50 million a day? Or is it about making you feel like an inadequate plebe? Then you may be right, and it's working because you most definitely are an inadequate plebe? I think he meant to say pleb. But all flat earthers are, so you're not even special in flat earth circles. <laughs> A, a, a worthless monkey spinning on a ball in endless space? Or is it about something deeper? Is it about faking an alien invasion? And for them to first do that, they had to fake space. Whoa, we went from Magnus to faking an alien invasion. Now, if they can fake the entire universe, thousands of satellites, and every photo ever taken from space of Earth, why do they need to fake an alien invasion? They already have us trapped in the Matrix, according to Flat Earthers anyway. Or are you hoping that the people who come across your video are going to be as stupid as you are and that they'll believe that because you say space is fake, everything else must be as well? 
That's what Von Braun said. So I'll just leave you with this little ditty here. Research Operation Paperclip. Research who founded NASA. Research why the Freemasons would lie. And don't believe everything I say. Research everything I say. Till you're blue in the face and then come up with your own conclusions. But don't just run away from new information because it's scary. What if it's stupid? Are we allowed to run away from it then? That's what Monkey Man Science teaches us basically. That Earth is a molten fireball spinning through the endless void of space. Now we'll get to what I've written there in a minute, but let's just think about that molten core for a second. We've never dug deeper than eight miles. And even with seismic charges, testing, with pictures and whatever technology we have, we still can't get deeper down than 10 miles. Something happens, it's too hot, the drill bits break, but we've never actually witnessed this molten core. Yet Monkey Man Science teaches that molten metals are what Earth's core is made out of, creating Earth's magical magnetic gravity that allows us to spin through the endless void of fictional space. This is what scientism claims. Well, I guess you're just too smart for us then, because I always thought that they were totally different. If magnetism and gravity were the same thing, you tool, your wooden desk would float away while your car keys were stuck to the ground. However, there's one problem with that, guys. I promise you, there's a lot more than one problem with the things you've said in this video. <laughs> Molten metals lose magnetic properties. Nickel and iron lose magnetic properties. So how could they be creating Earth's magical magnetic field? Do you know, when I first started on YouTube, I was always afraid that people would see me as a fraud or, or that the information I share isn't valid. <laughs> but when I hear people like this guy, all those fears just disappear. Mate, you're reading a post from another flat earther, so of course you're going to agree with the things he says, even though they're all clearly wrong. This gravity that no one can measure. We can measure electromagnetism, we can measure magnetism, we can even measure the ether. Measure what now? We can even measure the ether. Yeah, I thought that's what you said, and this is really awkward because the Michelson-Morley experiment actually proved ether doesn't exist. It's like saying you found proof of Santa Claus by showing everyone an empty plate of cookies. But yeah, we can't measure this magical gravity created by this molten core that we've never been to. Well, if you're so certain that gravity doesn't exist, you should conduct your own experiment. I would recommend climbing to the top of a very high building and then stepping off. If you were right, you'll be fine. But yet it's taught in school as fact. Why? Because it is, in fact, a fact. And whatever you do, don't try my experiment. I was being funny and you're a flat earther, so... Don't, just, I don't know, grab something and drop it. That proves gravity as well. <laughs> okay, while we're on the topic of internet idiots, I think you really enjoy this video. The guy in it is a complete moron, and I don't mean me before you say it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.